adventure. <laughs> hey guys, Richard Oldner here. Welcome to the channel. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. We have a 1961 Pontiac Trophy four cylinder that we think has a bad timing chain. But you know what? There's only one way to find out. Let's yank off the front cover. All right, start with the water pump pulley. Pulling our belt. Take off our intake bolt. See if we've got any of these other ones. 16 to all these. Not that we need you, but we're gonna go ahead and pull the water pump off. Those are a little bit rusty. Should have pre lubed them. Get the water pump off, get the fuel pump off, <laughs> most of the damper off. Get the rest of that off. I'm going to access these other bolts back behind here so we can get to the front cover. It comes off nice and easy. like it's been off before. And it's loose. We are good. The damper off. Let's now get these bolts to the front cover. And the two under here. 
a couple under here for the oil pan. Get that front cover off. Laughing out my gun. We'll get those oil pan bolts. There. Looks like I still have a bolt in there. A couple of WD, some rusty ones here. Try to pop these loose a little bit. There we go. That's good. Screwdriver. On the side of the tongue. Come on, baby. Ta da! Take a look. Back the tensioner on there. Doesn't look like it would have jumped a tooth or anything. A little bit of slop in it, not as much as I thought it would. So I guess this begs the question is how loose would it be if we undo the tensioner? Let's take that off and see how much slop we have. I'm going to try to hold this, hold the camera, I'm pulling this off. Okay, so I think we can get this off. Yeah, so we got our spring off. So you can see of the tensioner. <laughs> there's there's a lot of slop, but the tensioner is there. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Is that just an inordinate amount of slop, or is that supposed to be like that? Because the tensioner is always there, or has this thing worn out, and the tensioner is the only thing that stopped it from jumping and making catastrophic problems. Wah, wah, wah. So what I want to do is spin the motor over. I've got the damper bolt back in, but before I can do that, I want to pull these plugs out, make it easier to spin.
for that cranking compression. All right, so we can take a look and see if it looks like we're rotating it. what's going on while this thing's running. It's not touching over here on this side, but we're getting a lot of action over there. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. I like the fact that this chain is big and thick. I was told they did that on the four cylinder because of the harmonics of this thing, which is good news. This thing still, the chain looks like it's in decent shape. Pretty good for 1961. Okay guys, I'm doing handheld, so if it's a little shaky, I'm sorry. What did you guys think about the chain tensioner on the Trophy four-cylinder Pontiac? Here are my thoughts. I'm wondering if the tensioner is supposed to take up extra slack built into the chain. Is that chain supposed to be longer than a traditional like double roller or even a single roller Pontiac chain for the V8? Is the four-cylinder Trophy timing chain longer anyway because it has the tensioner or, and this is the one I'm more leaning towards, does that chain have a lot of stretch in it and only by the good graces of the tensioner has this thing not skipped and catastrophically caused all kinds of problems with the Trophy four cylinder. This thing's been soldiering on since 1961, so it's doing a fairly good job. I tend to think that when Pontiac designed this, they probably designed it the same way that they did with the V8. It has a nice tight tensioner or a nice tight timing gear, and that the tensioner is just there to take up a little bit of slack, not the slack we saw in this one. Please let me know in the comments if you know for sure or if you have an opinion. I'm Richard Holder. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff. I'll keep testing.